it's Mary and I'm coming to you with day two of 30 Inks 30 Days. And yeah, today we're going to be, I'm going to be doing something crazy. It's actually not really that crazy, but for me it's crazy. So I have this pen, the Visconti Homo Sapiens. It has been almost exclusively inked with, um, with Robert Oster Soda Pop Blue. However, it's Sailor September, the pen is clean, and I want to use it. So, we're still inking it with a blue ink because for some reason I like a blue ink in this pen. Um, and I, the newest blue ink that I'm basically in love with right now is Sailor Montana. So, we're going to go ahead and ink it with Sailor Montana. And I'm going to be very happy about this decision. Um, the only issue is, is I don't have my traveling ink well, my Visconti ink well, because it's filled with Robert Oster soda pop blue so we're gonna have to fill it from the bottle and I have a feeling that's gonna be a disaster I, ha I just have a feeling that that's gonna be kind of a disaster but we're gonna do it anyway and I'm going to put this uh, washcloth underneath it it's not the most stable but it will have to do and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna enjoy our pen I love this pen I love this pen so much. I um, typically just refill the ink and stuff and then let it, like, I refill it. But I give it a solid cleaning every couple of fills. So this has been fully cleaned. And, um, yeah, it's due for an inking. And we're going to ink it with this ink. Sailor 50 States, Montana. I'm going to do one more... One more pull just to make sure. There we go. I don't, I think I, I think we should be good. Hopefully we're good. Clean that off. I think I'm going to dip this paper towel in water and just make sure this section is clean. Close it up. And there we go. Oh, I'm so excited to use that pen again. <laughs> haven't used it in a while because it's been cleaned and I have been, I have had so many pens inked I didn't want to ink it, but yeah, today's the day. Today's the day. And again, the ink that we're using today is Sailor 50 States Montana. It is not the newest but I think it's the it's the one they released uh, last that I've done. It's the last one I did a video on. It looks like this. It's very pretty. I have the newest, the two newest inks. I think it's, what is it, Rhode Island and Nebraska, I want to say? Rhode Island and Arkansas? I think it's Rhode Island and Arkansas. I have to do the video on it. I just got them. Well, I say just. I got them like a week ago and haven't had a chance to do videos because uh, I only get one day at home alone now <laughs> for work from home. My roomie now works from home three days a week and um, one of those days is Friday, which is my other work from home day. Um, yeah, so oh, this blue is so pretty. I don't remember what blue I had this pen in, but I just, I wrote it dry basically immediately. So good. So good. best part is it's not that much off from soda pop blue actually it's similar enough I would say soda pop blue is a little more bright a little more vibrant but I just really love everything about this ink right now so I'm excited oh, oh I think I had this pen I had this pen in a Lamy Safari one of those new ones. The, no, a Lamy All-Star. 
It's one of those new ones, that blue one with like a clear blue section. I love it. I love it. I loved it. I wrote that pen dry basically immediately. There we go. The Visconti Homo Sapiens was my first like super expensive pen. I got this pen at a deal even at the time. I think it was like I don't remember. It was less than five hundred dollars, which I think was like that was still a deal at the time. It's a pen made of lava. Like how could you not? And it was such a great price that I I basically had to. And it wrote perfectly out of the box. I know that's sometimes an issue, but it wrote perfectly out of the box for me. I had zero issues, zero. And it has the palladium nib. I think now they come with a gold nib. But this one, I bought this one when they were still doing palladium nibs. That's kind of, I mean, aside from the reason that they're a million dollars now, they're like quadruple figures, four figures. Um, oh my God, this is so nice. I should have saved this blue. I have a couple of days during the month that um, I like to do blue inks. Um. Anyway, yeah, I got this when it was a, when they were doing palladium nibs, and I don't want to pay, because I paid so little for this one, I have a really hard time paying two to three times more what I paid for this one. For a gold nib, so yeah. And I have a medium nib. It is only the third ink that has graced this pen. We are branching out from our usual Robert Oster Soda Pop Blue dot 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 into a new Blue. Blue. There. This ink. I wish I could just explain how and why I love it. I love the shading. Um, every once in a while, I don't think we can see it just now, but it gets like a small little halo. I just love the shade. Ugh. Ugh. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's rude. And I love it. This is going to be a juicy spot, I can tell. I like how dark it is, but also still, like, interesting. Looks like a bug. It looks like a bug! We're going to go with it. It looks like a bug. Like the little, like, antenna and a, their little legs. It's an insect. It's a blue insect! The little wings. The body, it's a fly, it's a blue fly. I'm wondering if we'll see some of the haloing here as it dries. We'll find out. Oops, here's our Fuji Sugata. The swatch, because I laid down so much ink, was actually pretty dark. Um, but you do get to see the blue and the pink a little bit. It looks, I would say it kind of looks less interesting in that, in that swatch personally, but it's a beautiful ink. Okay, let's do a writing portion before I do this swatch, just so I'm not like running my hand into the ink. Oops. Oh, 
November 2024. I'm so ha excited to be doing this and happy. I was going to say excited. That's the wrong word. That's not even the word. Sailor States Montana. Sapiens Bronze Age Vegan. I guess that's a new thing we're trying to do now. I'm gonna enjoy today. Today's gonna be a fun one. There we go. A nice blue ink for a Monday. Although, I'm not going to work because it's a holiday. It's a holiday in the United States. So, yeah. Anyway. <gasps> there we go! Day two in the books! Here's our splat. You can kind of see a little... It's still drying, so it's not going to be very pronounced. It's not, like, super sheeny anyway. But um, a little bit of red haloing around the edges and stuff. So, there you go. I like it better on the white paper, but it looks really nice on the cream, I think. Let me know what you're using today. What pen, what ink, how your day's going, what's going on. If you are in the States and you are celebrating uh, Labor Day, what are you doing? Barbecuing? Going out to the lake? I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you're doing. Let me know what's going on in your life in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you, and I will see you again tomorrow, day three. Day three of 30 Inks 30 Days. Take care. Love you, bye.